Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to today's video. In this video we were contracted by a customer to transport their excavator to the dealer because the engine had completely seized and was in need of replacement. Not shown in this video but seen in these pictures, the boom was in the up position and not straight with the cab. Due to this we spent the half a day with technicians prepping the unit to lift and transport. Once that was complete, as shown in the video, using two rotators and our COZAD trailer, we were able to conduct a flawless lift and transport so the customer could have their excavator worked on and operational. With three camera angles and headset audio recording, we are pretty excited to show you guys this video. So without further ado, enjoy the show. All right, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and get backed up to the unit here. We're gonna be working off the side. Very little, very little extension, so we should be okay. Unit weighs about 55,000, which is just outside the reach of this truck as a solo pick, so we're gonna tandem pick it. This truck could probably do it, but we don't wanna, we're all about safety, we don't wanna push the limits here, so. Let's see if I'm far enough away. Scoot over a little. That's gonna be close. No, that way. This one's probably, I think, yeah. All right, so I guess now, am I pretty like straight with it? Like, am I parallel to it? There? Okay, we're parallel to it, and now we just need to line the boom up with the center. All right, so just I guess line the center of the boom with the center of the track. Come on, you can turn it the center. Yeah. So center of boom to center of turret. I'm okay with being a little far out because it's uh, we're hardly gonna be off the side. We're just yeah. gonna be right here. That's yeah, true. Yeah, we want to keep our angle away. He just got plenty of room on that side, yeah. which is nice. But that's why I want myself on this side just so I can keep an eye on it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, this is all metal. So as long as we, but we definitely don't want to hit glass. <laughs> Yep, it's through. Okay. Hey Mark, what do you think about going on the inside of this? That way it keeps it from going forward. I mean, the roller will do that too, I guess, but I'm thinking if we go right here, problem is probably gonna feed it to me. Gotta go down here. There you go. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that a little better. Yeah. Okay. And then I guess we'll go same kind of thing right here. This gap. one has that shoulder. Let's see if can we go like right here and feed it back. Yeah. There we go. Let's uh we'll do two shackles into these just to get the best angle we can. So grab those. Let's see. 50,000 these 12 and a half ton shackles. 24 yeah that's right. morning Good, you? Looking like y'all got to do the work. Yep. Yes, sir.
that's 90. Hey, it's a little off, I think, though. That looks better to me, so. That looks more centered with it. Yeah. All right. Here, Mark, why don't I manage that one with the remote and you manage the one close to the glass? I always think you go under the track, yeah? Probably go under the track. My, like that, yeah. Do yours, huh? Start pulling. This is gonna go under the track. See how it's angled up? Yeah. Kind of it does side. have a big lip over here, though. You yeah, think no, it'll stay? It'll, it'll only go that far, but okay. it's gonna go under the track. So oh, when yeah, we yeah. put this down, right? We need to make sure. Yeah. I mean, we'll leave it there for no, no, yeah, when yeah, we get yeah, there. But yeah, gonna, I got gotcha. you. It's gonna stop at that lip yeah. over there. But, yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. But it's gonna get. Anything we could just pick up on this yeah. on the track, take up the slack. Yeah. All right, let's start going up with yours. Quarter looks like, or just press wrench, honestly. Okay. Getting some weight. Yeah, oh, well, I got half of it right there, so that makes sense, yeah. I was just curious how the yeah. truck is gonna react. Yeah, we got 23 there, so. It should weigh anywhere from like 48 to 52. So, that's good. All right, guys, so take you in here a little closer to see what we did here. So, on each of our lifting corners, we have a half inch chain wrapped around the uh, main track assembly. Uh, holding it kind of in place and get you some light here holding it kind of in place here we got it behind the roller and then we're coming up behind this metal and then keep it away from like a super sharp and jagged edge being this track we got a piece of angle here to make a nice rounded edge for the chain the chain goes up to a shackle that gives us the best angle uh, this angle is just just a touch better than rolling it through this uh, snatch block so that's why we did that uh, off camera, what we didn't show you was we went ahead and opened this door. Uh, we figured that if anything were to slip or anything, uh, we'd rather have the chain uh, or the cable kind of get into the side of the cab here rather than break a nice window. So that's why we swung the door open. Same thing back here. We got a chain set up just the same way. And then from there, what we're going to do is wait for statewide here and uh, they should be here probably in the next 10-15 minutes get them set up on this side of the unit and we'll lift it straight up, get our trailer back right under it and we should be in good shape. I got about 23,000, I'll go ahead and show you that here. Let me go ahead and walk over there, I'll show you. So like I said, this unit weighs anywhere from like 48 to 52,000. As you can see, I got 20.5 as indicated right here. So that means I have 20,500 pounds loaded onto the boom. Uh, as you can see by this number up here, capacity, that means that I'm good for 46,000 in this configuration. Uh, and I'm 45% uh, loaded uh, to chart. So um, with that being said, I have approximately half, um, like I said, 48 to 52,000. 
I have pretty close to half, and I know that one by the scale, obviously telling me that I have 20,000 and change. And um, I also started lifting the tracks here off the ground. As you can see, they're pretty light there. You got some some light showing under the tracks. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wait for statewide. We'll get them rigged up and uh, get all the cameras rolling. We'll have this camera, two other camera angles, headsets, and audio capture as well. So stay tuned. Yeah, it's uh, right there. We'll try to right there. 
so. Alright, the, can you get under there? We can set it? Or do we need uh, to move it a bit? Just pick up the back end a little bit. My back end or yours? Yeah, both of ours. I think, what do you think, look right here? Uh, I think it's I'm kind of slope, you see what I'm looking at? Yes. Back, how they go down? So okay. if I can bring the back end up just a little bit. Okay, go ahead. I'll follow you. Just nice and slow on, on your end and I'll follow. Go ahead a little bit. Yeah. I'm going right now, just nice and slow. Just creeping. There, there we go. That looks good. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Good picture opportunity. Let's pause. <laughs>
we're just going to push one corner in. We're facing this way, so right there, right there. Right there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set mine down. We got it all loaded up. Now we're gonna head to the drop-off location and repeat the same process in reverse. So with that being said, uh, go ahead and stay tuned for that. We'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, we made it here to the repair shop. We're gonna go ahead and get the truck set up and lift it off. So here we go.
I got 15k right there. So Mike, if you want to take up a little more, let's do that. Okay, there, hold. Okay, I'm gonna go up.
right, everyone. Well, with that being said, that is a wrap. Special thanks to Statewide, Mike and James with Statewide for uh, always helping us out and with these bigger jobs. So uh, always a pleasure working with them. And uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.